welcome back to Just Gildan. In today's guide, we'll be discussing how to restore your Gildan using the wallet backup file. As mentioned in the restore from recovery phrase guide, which I have placed a link in the description below. I will keep the restore video short, as I'm sure most users who are interested in this video will want to get on with recovering their Gildan. If you are here out of curiosity and you haven't started using Gildan, make sure to watch the backup and encryption guide, link also in the description below. So let us begin. There are three scenarios I'll mention and they all end up with the same solution, with just different ways of getting there. Scenario 1. You have purchased a new PC and you want to transfer your Gildan wallet to the new PC. 99% of the time, this will be the reason you'll want to restore your Gildan wallet. But please remember to remove the wallet.dat file or format your old PC if you plan to sell it or give it to someone else. You'll hate for someone else to get access to your wallet.dat file because that means they have access to your Gildan, especially if you haven't encrypted your wallet. Scenario 2. Your SSD or HDD drive, which the wallet is installed on, fails and you need to replace it. Scenario 3. In the highly unlikely event your wallet.dat or core Gildan files become corrupted and you need to replace the wallet.dat file or re-download the blockchain with the restored wallet.dat file. Scenario 1 and 2 has the same solution and I'll start the guide here. As you can see, I have a balance of 99 Gildan, also a business account which I created, and the default My Account that gets created when you install your wallet. So if we go to the Transaction tab for the business account, just click there, you can see how my balance of 99 was made up. It was just one transaction from my Android wallet, which I did on the 29th of October. So if we double click to see the details, it confirms the date and time, the credit amount of 99 Gildan and the transaction ID. The transaction ID is pretty important. You can actually plug that into a block explorer, which I'll explain in another video, but that you can use to confirm your transaction and to also send it to the receiver of your Gildan to confirm that you actually have paid them. Okay, so what I expect to see when I restore my wallet on the new PC is my balance, my business account, and this transaction. To begin the restore, you'll first need to install and download the Gildan wallet on your new PC. When you get to the screen where you need to choose between new wallet and restore wallet, just click new wallet and wait for the blockchain to download. This could take up to a few hours depending on how good your CPU is and to a lesser extent your internet connection. If you need a refresher, all this is explained in the download and install guide and you'll also find the link in the description below. So I will download and install the Gildan wallets on the new instance and then proceed to show you how to restore the wallet.dat file from this point. Alright, so I've just downloaded and installed the Gildan wallet on a new instance and as expected my balance is zero and I don't have a business account. The reason we chose the new wallet option was just to get the download of the blockchain completed. A special mention, when you installed your wallet in this specific case, you don't need to worry about the recovery phrase you got during the install, as you'll be replacing this wallet with the backed up wallet.dat file. Now it's time to restore your wallet with the wallet.dat file. So follow these steps. Go to help, debug window, you'll land up on the information tab. Over here by data DRR you'll see an arrow that points to a folder. This is the folder that will open up to your Gildan wallet and your Gildan core files. So you click on that and there we go. There's your wallet.dat file that we need to rename. So before we rename, we are going to actually 
close the client down. So it's closed and then we're going to proceed to rename the file. So just press F2 or right click and rename whichever you prefer. I'll just use F2 and I'm going to call it wallet new install. Dot that. So let's click off there. Okay, now I'm going to get my backup from my flash drive. Just so you know, on my flash drive, I already have put the BitLocker password in. So for this tutorial, I can just go straight to it and pick it up. So let's open it up. It's um, on my F drive. I was going to bring it closer so you can see what I'm doing. Okay, so click OK there. And I've actually named my wallet.dat file minecraft.back. It's just in case anyone ever finds it, they don't know what it actually is. So I'm going to copy it off my flash drive first. And then I am going to put it over here by my directory. And then I'm going to actually rename this file to wallet.dat. Okay, and it says, do you want to change it? Just click yes. And now I'm going to open up the clients again. The client should take under one minute to load up. And since you have already downloaded the Gildan blockchain, there won't be much to sync, if anything at all, depending on the time between the install and when you restored the backup file. Voila, there's your balance, my business account, transaction tab with the Android deposits I made. So that is awesome. Let's move on to the scenario where your wallet.dat file becomes corrupted. Since your guild and blockchain is already downloaded, all you need to do is replace the corrupted wallet.dat file with the backup you made. The only difference here is that you won't be able to navigate through the Gildan client to get access to this folder. In the description below, I have provided the shortcut to access the location for the wallet.dat folder for Windows, Mac and Linux. I have corrupted my own wallet.dat file for the purposes of this guide. So let me try open the wallet and see what happens. As you can see, the wallet corrupt message comes up. So just click on OK and abort. Now we will proceed to replace the corrupted wallet. Since this is a Windows 10 instance, I will run the shortcut for Windows to get access to the folder where my wallet file resides. I have placed the shortcuts for each OS in the description to this guide. So let's open up the file location. Use Windows key R if you're on Windows. I'll drag it up here so you can see exactly what you need to paste in to open up the folder. And there we go. There's my wallet.dat file that I need to replace. So I'm going to rename this one. You can either right click, rename, or press F2. I'm going to call it Wallet Corrupt. After that, I am going to get my backup file. So I press Windows R again. Now my flash drive is the F drive. And as I mentioned earlier, my backup is called Minecraft.back. So I'll just copy the file as it is. Put it back into the Gildan wallet folder, pasting it here, and then I'm going to rename it to wallet.dat. Sure you want to change it? Yes. Okay, so we'll just close this down and open up the wallet and see how it looks. 
as you can see, we have passed the point where we would have got the corrupt error. So let the wallet load up and it's looking good. Now that the wallet has fully loaded, let's make sure everything's in place. As you can see, the 99 Gildan has been restored. The business account has been restored. If you go to the transactions tab for the business account, you can see the Android deposit I had made is there. Okay, let's just click close to get out of the screen. I want to show you one more thing. If you go to add account and you look at the four accounts here, standard, witness, mining, or linked mobile. If you create any of these accounts, and even if you create these accounts six months after you did your backup, when you use the backup to restore your wallet, the new accounts, all the accounts you have will be there, including the transactions and obviously your balance. This concludes the restore from wallet backup file guide. I hope the information provided helps you in the future, or if you currently need to restore your wallet, the most important part of any restore process is to make sure your backups have been done. Thanks again for taking the time to listen to this guide and take care.